Hi, I'm Eric Bame, curator of aviation here at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum, and I'm standing in front of our new temporary exhibit, Drones, Is the Sky the Limit? We're going to pop inside and look at a really remarkable machine, the Gyrodyne QH-50 DASH. DASH stands for Drone Anti-Submarine Helicopter. It was designed to deliver the Mark 57 nuclear depth bomb, which could neutralize several enemy submarines at the same time while the U.S. ships remained a safe distance away. From January 1963 to January 1971, the DASH was used for anti-submarine reconnaissance. It carried the conventionally armed Mark 44 torpedo and the improved Mark 46 torpedo. The DASH is an unmanned helicopter designed with a coaxial main rotor system. The coaxial system has two sets of main rotor blades geared to turn in opposite direction from each other. The system nullifies the torque that is found in conventional single rotor helicopters and thus removes the requirement for a tail rotor. The DASH was remotely controlled from the ship, first by a drone pilot on the deck, and then it was transferred to a drone pilot in the combat information center inside the ship. Controllers could fly at any time of day, in any sea state, in any weather, without risk to the controlling pilot. The DASH was meant to serve on smaller ships. Over 165 U.S. destroyers, destroyer escorts and tenders were equipped with the QH-50 as an anti-submarine helicopter during its service career from January 1963 to January 1971. Beginning in 1968, the Navy and the Army used the DASH for target towing duties from land bases until May of 2006. But back in January 1965, during the Vietnam War, the Navy converted the DASH to fly reconnaissance missions. These aircraft were nicknamed Snoopies. This involved the modification to the QH-50 system by the installation of real-time video and film cameras for reconnaissance, surveillance, and for spotting naval gunfire. So the QH-50 Dash was a remarkable machine in its day, but it went on to serve for 43 years. For more behind-the-scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.